Trini Girl Natural. Hi YouTube. <laughs> I'm coming on today to show you what's in my stash at this moment. So like my current stash and just tell you a little bit about how I manage my stash. So maybe it might help some of you <laughs> out there, you know, who just trying to figure out how to get through it all. So I am trying to reduce my stash. I am trying to kind of use up stuff and you know a lot of the things that I have, not a lot, but I would say maybe 5 to 10% of the things I have, I don't plan to repurchase. So, you know, I'm trying to kind of use those up so I'll just have really the good stuff. Um, so I always have like a little bit of that mixed in, plus of course my HGs and, you know, things that I actually enjoy. I do have a pretty big stash, but I don't use everything at once. Um, it would just be way too confusing to keep track of. I don't want things to stay there and spoil. I only wash once a week, so, you know, I do have a lot of hair, but I only wash once a week, so I'm not going to be able to use everything. So I like to keep it closed and sealed. If you look at my Holy Grail graveyard video, I do similar things for products that I haven't used yet. Sealed, cool, dry place. I don't open them to smell them or anything. I just leave them alone until I'm going to use them. I usually have, let's say, maybe five leave-ins open at once. Five six cleansers open at once like maybe three shampoos three co-washes deep conditioners that's a joke because i pretty much use the whole thing in one go most times like at least with the eight ounce deep conditioners they only last one or two uses so i don't really have those open unless like i happen to have like a shea moisture or like a 12 ounce so deep conditioners don't really count in terms of like having them stay open a long time they're sealed i use them clean the jar out and that's it. And butters and creams kind of last me forever because I don't use much of them. I might use like a little a teaspoon per section, like four teaspoons in my hair or something in one, um, in one wash day. So those last forever. Took me two years, I guess, to finish um, a Camille Rose Curly and Moisture Butter, which I love by the way, but it took me in the years to get through it. But I haven't had anything go bad on me, I haven't had anything spoil on me. So, so far so good and just keep my fingers crossed at that. That's been going well. In terms of gels, I make my own DIY gel. I'm still kind of working on that, but it's cheap, you know. I wouldn't say free because, you know, I do buy the flaxseeds and stuff, but it's cheaper than Camille Rose or like any similar quality. Kiki Curly, Uncle Funky. It's cheaper than paying 20 something dollars for what for me is just two or three uses of gels so I, I really can't I don't choose to spend that much money on gels and I use gels pretty much every week for my wash and goes I do you know sometimes do conditioner only in the summer but for the most part I use gels a lot so I make my own gel cause you know I, I <laughs> I'm not really personally trying to fund anybody's college fund for their kids or something. I'm not trying to spend that much money on gels. I have like my treatments and stuff. The protein I kind of finish in one go as well. At least when I have the like 8-9 ounce um, protein treatments. Um, and the same thing with the tea treatment. It's kind of small so I finish in one go. So the thing that I really have sitting around are like cleansers, leave-in conditioners and butters. And the cleansers, only the shampoos are really sitting around. The co-washes, I do take a long time to kind of get back to the next co-wash, but if I were to just use one co-wash, I guess it depends on the co-wash. So maybe I'll talk about them individually, because like the Camille Rose Caramel Co-wash, I might get three uses, but the She Scented Blueberry Co-wash, I might get six uses, you know? So it just depends on the co-wash. The same thing with the shampoo, depending on how much I have to dilute it, it might last way longer. So. You know, Giovanni I've had forever because I just put like maybe one squirt in a applicator bottle. Whereas the cocoa, the blue rose, cocoa rose shampoo, I kind of, I don't dilute it at all. You know, I just put it on my roots. So that will probably finish faster even though I don't use it that much. I kind of use it when the time is right. <laughs> so I'll talk about when I use things too. Since I have like a variety of stuff and I like having variety, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what makes me decide to choose what product. Let me just start with the leave-ins. I guess you guys have seen these already, so I'm going to go through them quickly. But I have this Lace Natural Ease Leave-In, which I plan to... I have the Baskin Bloom, so when this is finished, I'm going to start using the Baskin Bloom. I have the Blue Rose Cocoa Rose Leave-In Conditioner, which I also love. This is my winter stash, so I'm not going to show you any She Scented, but the She Scented Leave-Ins are actually my favorites. It's just that they are glycerin, so I don't use them in the winter. So I have this Sultanical Slip and Slide Nutproof Hair Glide. 
and I made a serious dent in this for the last wash and go. You guys saw that video. You didn't see me maybe use a lot, but you know, I still have at least four uses out of this, you know. The Camille Rose leave-in collection. These are the two that I even try to use as a leave-in. I'm gonna try this one by itself next. You guys saw me try using both. But you know, it's open and it's in my rotation. This is what I'm gonna use for this winter. And I have this oil, which is in my stash, and I use if I wanna do like a pigtail because <laughs> I don't really do pointers yet but pigtails, ponytails, stuff like that or taking down twists I use this so when I use what? you guys heard me talk about the oil already pigtails, ponytails etc the leave-ins that I have are really pretty similar in terms of moisture and definition and everything like that so I kind of just use it based on what I'm feeling to do so like if I'm using maybe a Camille Rose butter and I'll tell you when I decide to do that. But if I'm using like a Camille Rose butter, I might just go ahead and use the Camille Rose leave-in. You know, something like that just to match it up when I can. You know, same thing with Blue Rose and stuff. But the leave-ins are all great. They're all moisturizing. They're all defining. And I've kissed a lot of frogs, but, you know, I've found my leave-in. So just because I kind of say they're all great doesn't mean that all leave-ins in the world are great. It's just that these leave-ins are so great, I can pretty much use any one. So I just pick whatever, maybe what I feel like smelling. The Blue Rose is a little bit lighter going on, so if I feel like that. The Latte, Camille Rose Latte is really rich going on, so if I feel like putting that on, because I know they all work really well. So that's the leave-ins. <laughs> um, the butters, right now I just have these two that I'm using. The Blue Rose Coconut Curly Custard. The Camille Rose Naturals Aloe Whip Butter Gel. So I do love both of these. I think for sure I'm definitely going to repurchase this Camille Rose Aloe Whip Butter Gel. So I use this mainly when I'm doing like, if I know I'm going to be using a crunchy gel. Like maybe Eco Styler or something. Because this is such a softening product. If you're going to use a crunchy gel, just put this under it and it really softens. If I'm going to use a softening gel, I don't use this. So I wouldn't use this with the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Cause that's already really softening anything Camille Rose is really softening and just makes your hair feel like you know you know super soft so I don't I don't use this for that because it's just gonna be maybe too soft or like not enough hold so this I use with something crunchy I haven't tried it like as a styler on its own yet so maybe that'll be something for summer I might try it like that because it does Give me nice definition, but it doesn't have that much hold, so it's going to probably wait until summer when I feel like doing like a three-day wash and go or something, I might try that. This coconut curly custard on the other hand is really light, so um, it's like a light, I think I called it whipped marshmallow last time. It's not, it is, you see it's kind of running out already, so it's really light. I think mostly all Rose products are pretty light, whereas this whipped butter gel ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I want like a really light little bit of extra moisture I might put this on over my leave-in so this is really good paired with the blue rose cocoa rose leave-in I probably wouldn't use this for the Camille Rose Latte because that already is kind of rich and probably doesn't need a uh, butter over it at all but anytime I just want to just add a little bit of extra moisture and pizzazz I'd, I'll use this and if I'm using like a real soft styler or, or you know something that isn't crunchy and stuff like that I'll just use this so I'm definitely looking forward to Finishing this and using this up, you know, by spring, I guess, hopefully. I mean, I told you it takes me a really long time to get through these. But I'm really enjoying using this. I love the scent and I love the texture. So, and the same thing with the Camille Rose whipped butter. I love both of them, so I really love using them. You know, sometimes you have to, like, force yourself to use a product like, yeah, you don't feel like it. But these are all a joy to use, at least. The latte is a joy to use. Um, the Blue Rose Cocoa Rose Leave-In, just because the scents and the feel and stuff on your hair. Like those are my probably my favorite leave-ins to use of what I have out here. Both butters I like. The next thing, and this is where I really have the most variety in my decision making, is the cleansers. If I go through the week and my hair doesn't feel like my scalp doesn't feel itchy or, you know, dirty, I'm going to use probably a co-wash. I use the Camille Rose Caramel Co-wash like that when my scalp feels fine. So... It is very cleansing, but since it's so conditioning as well, I feel like since I have other options, if my scalp is itching, I'm probably going to use one that I feel just kind of strips down my hair a little bit more. Not that it cleanses more, but it just feels like it does, if you know what I mean. Like when I use this, it just feels like I condition my hair. So just for my own, like, this mental, like, trip, I like it to feel clean, like when it was itchy. 
you know, just to make sure I reset. So that's kind of like the next level. This Esther co-wash, I use this when my hair doesn't feel fresh and clean clean. Like if it feels fresh and clean clean where I can actually skip a week, I'd use the Camille Rose co-wash because it's just, it's cleansing and conditioning. But if I feel like I want to feel clean, I use this one. This one has a nice minty feel which I love. This one, I just put it on my roots, I don't put it throughout. The Camille Rose I kind of put throughout because like I said it's really conditioning. This one I do love it but I'm not sure if I'm going to repurchase it. I like this. I do like the Curl Friend Smoothie. At least the first time I tried it I liked it. By the end of it I wasn't sure. So I'm going to try it again and let you guys know what the final verdict is. And if I like both then I might get this like on Black Friday. But if I just like this one I don't really like to just buy one thing. Or just you know even two of the same thing on Black Friday. Just... I like to get free shipping, so unless I can really go ham on a brand, I usually just kind of pass on it. So we'll see if I'll repurchase it, but I do like it. The next level is this She Scented Blueberry Co-Wash. So this one feels even more cleansing than the S Dot. Um, so this is where like, I get into the, the itchies, you know, your scalp is itchy, I'll use this. If my scalp feels fine, I'll use the Camille Rose. If my scalp feels not fresh and clean, I might use the S Dot. If it's actually getting into itchy, then I will start with, I'll use this. I have this one, which is kind of a bonus. So this is the Serenzo Hair Cleansing Cream. I didn't really find any Serenzo that I liked, unfortunately, because she seems really sweet. But, you know, some stuff had no slip, some stuff didn't have enough moisture, some stuff didn't give me enough definition. So this was one of the best things that I tried from her. I'm still not sure if I'm going to repurchase it because it doesn't have much slip. But it did somehow seem to really... Eliminate frizz from my hair, which is a little bit bizarre. I'm looking at it now thinking like what in it had that effect. I actually wrote her to ask her about her shampoo base because I was kind of curious like what took the frizz out of my hair. But this one really seems to eliminate frizz for some random reason. I have to try this again soon and let you know. So this one I haven't used in a long time. In a few, in a good few months. And like six months in natural hair is like a long time because your hair like grows a lot. I have to try this one again and let you know. Not much slip. Good cleansing and some reason, good definition. This should have been called a curl activating hair cleansing cream. So into the shampoos. When my hair is actually itchy and stuff, I'm pulling out a shampoo. And I go with this Blue Rose Beauty Coco Rose Creamy Shampoo. So I like it because it's very moisturizing and cleansing. Like this is like the perfect balance of moisturizing and cleansing. So I know it's going to get rid of my itchies and I know it's not going to strip my hair. So I love this for that. And then after that I have like more actual shampoos. So this beautiful Curls um, Kinky Curly Shampoo. This one actually feels more like an actual shampoo. So I do use this. I would say to clarify, I mean, it does have a couple of surfactants in here. So I would use this getting into where I actually want to clarify my hair and stuff. So I have used this before, before like a protein treatment or T-rinse. I guess you guys saw in my last video I used that. So I... I would use that as a kind of mild clarifier, I would use this. But if for some reason I really, really want to clarify right now, I'm using this Smooth as Silk Deep Moisture Shampoo. So I know it's supposed to be on the moisturized end, but it is actually pretty, pretty clarifying as well. So I used the tea tree version of this, which is actually supposed to clarify, but I ran out of that. And I still have this, and I feel like the, they feel pretty similar, and the ingredients are also pretty similar. So... It has like three surfactants or <laughs> even more like maybe six surfactants as the first six ingredients. So I use this to clarify as well when I need like a real, real reset. Then this is what's coming up. That's my cleansers from the mildest to the strongest. And then we have the deep conditioners. I love both of these. The Sultanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic. And the She Scented Rich Moisture Mask. The She Scented um, Rich Moisture Mask and the... Sultanicals Afrotastic Curl Elastic are both kind of sitting in tied right now. Started off with this one, she sent it um, as my HG, and then this came along, um, Sultanicals, and I haven't done like a show off yet or used them close enough together to decide which one I like better. So they're both kind of my HG. In terms of deep conditioners, I don't really have that many in rotation. I have those two, and I have the she sent it Curl Moist, which I just kind of have for variety. I didn't buy like a whole bunch, but I did buy, I don't know, maybe six, like three of the Rich Moisture and three of the Curl Moist. So I'm just going to use them 
intersperse them with the Afrotastic Curl Elastic to try to get me through the year. So I know I, if I just try to use these, I'll be out of them within a couple months because I have been deep conditioning every week. I am thinking about trying deep conditioning every two weeks. But for now, my plan is to just mostly use the Afrotastic Curl Elastic and then sometimes use some of the She Scented for a little bit of spice in my life, you know? Yeah. So, I do have some other deep conditioners that I have to finish off for my PJ days. I have like some Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and I even have some Cantu. But yeah, that's my fault, you know, buying in bulk, Walmart, free shipping. Again, that free shipping stuff will get you sometimes if you're not sure of what you want. But I bought like nine Cantu DCs at one point, like when I was kind of ending my love with it. Because <laughs> that was the first DC I ever tried, so it was, I will say it was my... DC for a while, my staple for a while. Um, and I bought like nine, and then I found all these other great deep conditioners, so I kind of stopped using them. But then I was like, you know what, you really have to finish them. So I think I might have about six left. So I'm gonna just carry them when I travel. Any friend comes by and wants one, you know, that's how I've been kind of getting rid of it, but I still have a good bit. I guess in spring and summer, I'm gonna use all that can too and Shea Moisture. And I have like some new ones to my Black Friday haul to try and stuff like that. So those are going to be interspersed with this. But for now, you know, when I really need the real thing, like after a protein treatment or after I clarify my hair, I use like this She Scented or the Afrotastic. And other than that, I will use like a newly purchased one that I'm trying or the Cantu or the Shea Moisture I'm just trying to finish up. So... Those are my deep conditioners, actually, just three. <laughs> Those aren't going to really switch up much. So, you'll see the most change in like the leave-ins and the butters. The co-wash and the deep conditioners, I'm pretty stable on because I kind of found my stuff. Even the leave-ins, I found my stuff, I just found too much stuff. So, you know, I'm probably going to filter down to like my favorite favorites, like by next Black Friday. You know, hopefully we'll see me buying... I don't want to say how many, but probably going to try to get like 60% of the number of leave-in brands that I have for next Black Friday. So, we'll see. So, leave-ins and butters change a lot. The co-wash, you know, the Camille Rose Caramel co-wash is my bae. The She Scented Blueberry co-wash is like, I don't want to say my side. My, she's, it's my old faithful, you know. She's, that's my faithful, my staple. Little goes a long way. And then I have the Caramel co-wash when I'm feeling fancy and I... You know, I have some on hand. But the shampoos, the Blue Rose Creamy Shampoo is here to stay. And then I'm going to kind of shop around for like a clarifying shampoo. I do have some clarifying shampoos I haven't opened yet. And I'm going to open them when I finish the Giovanni. The rest of the stuff in my stash, again, I don't change them. So even though it's a currently in rotation video, like I'm showing you everything now. But in future videos, I'll just show you the new ones that I got. And then maybe I'll be able to go into more detail on them. So... I have my Camille Rose Curl Maker, which I use when I don't have any flaxy gel handy. I also use my Eco Styler and stuff occasionally, like in the spring and fall, maybe a little bit of summer. But, you know, I, can, I use it probably like two times a year I use Eco Styler. So, you know, I definitely don't use it in the winter. So it's definitely not here right now. So it's basically Camille Rose um, Curl Maker. And then occasionally like Uncle Funky Daughter Curly Magic. So I bought like two Uncle Funkies and I bought like three Camille Rose. And that's going to get me through the year because when it's done I ain't buy no more. Going to have to, you know, make sure I make my flaxseed. <laughs> so, yeah. Kinky Curly Nut today. This one, as a detangler, is bay and it's here to stay. I don't use any other detangler. It's just this. So, I mean, I might use like dilute apple cider vinegar or something or conditioner to detangle. But in terms of an actual emergency detangler, it's just this. I have nothing else. I love this. This is the best. The one nothing else. I have this. So, not really rotating, but here to stay and currently being used. Okro Reconstructive Conditioner. I would like to have a backup. This is my protein treatment. Not rotating, here to stay. My only protein treatment right now. Haven't found a backup um, yet. But I love this. So Tanaka's Hair Sorrel. This is like my only refresher spray right now. I did buy a couple of the Sultanical sprays to try. Um, I bought the Mia Organics Leave-In spray to try as well. 
But I think the other half blisterings, so this is like my only year-round bay for sure. And the others I'll try it in the spring and kind of, you know, see if I like anything better. And last but not least, I have this Blue Rose Chai Hair Tea. So I think she said she's going to stop selling it, but this is like my only store-bought tea treatment. And it really works well. I have to say probably it works better than just my regular black tea. I'm going to use these until they're done, I guess. Don't use it that often, but I'll probably try to use it maybe every six months or something. I know that sounds really bad, but it is what it is, you know. I have like maybe three of these, so and I, it takes, I'm going to use a whole bottle in one use, so every six months will get me through like a year and a half or something. So that's it. <laughs> that's everything that I have currently in rotation. So I decided to just come on and do a currently in rotation video. Because, I mean, that's how I live my life. That's the fun for me, like, kind of finishing something and swapping out and getting to, to use something else that I've been dying to try. I don't have everything open at once, and I don't really feel like storing empties to show you guys empties. Sorry. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you really want to see it, let me know in the comments. And, of course, you know, the viewers are always right. But, you know, I'm not really an empty store. Like, I'm so happy and relieved when I finally finish something and just toss it and pretend I never bought it. Not because I hate it, but just because I have so much stuff. So I'm always happy to like actually toss something. So I don't know if I'll do empties, you know? Plus if I'm doing a currently in my stash, you guys can get the fresh experience. You know, if you want to see me actually like open a product and stuff, smell it, whatever, you can get more detail. If you're just looking at an empty bottle, you can't really tell much. But this one, like, you know, with the Currently in my stash, you can kind of see what everything looks like and, you know, how much I have left and, you know, I feel like you get more information that way. Let me know what you think. <laughs> That's it, I guess. <laughs> Let me know how you manage your stash. Do you have everything open at once? Do you try to buy one thing at one time? Do you just use one brand at one time? Because I put everything in my hair. I would use shampoo from here, conditioner from there. I just would put it like, la, 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 la. You should only use one thing on my hand, girl, whatever, you know. As long as it's pH balanced and I know like what, what my shampoo pH, is, pH range should be and, you know, my conditioner pH range should be, as long as it falls there, I'm good, you know. So I don't really get flakes to worry about mixing and matching in terms of like leave-ins and butters and stuff like that. So, so all this variety goes into Daisy <laughs> and, you know. And be good, be happy, yeah. So, that was it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And, you know, tell me about your stash. What you got in there right now? <laughs> so, see you in the next one. Bye.